A diagnosis in Dallas. Questions are being raised about whether or not the president should have made these comments to the American people just two weeks ago. Take a look at this. First and foremost, I want the American people to know that our experts here at the CDC and across our government agree that the chances of an Ebola outbreak here in the United States are extremely low. I guess not so low. Back in July, the CDC also said that Ebola did not pose a significant threat to the U.S. Here with reaction is Texas Governor Rick Perry. He joins us tonight from Dallas. Governor, good to see you. Thank you for being here, sir. John, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. All right, here are the headlines that I have. First of all, the ambulance crew that transported this patient in Dallas, now they're, they're under quarantine. We know that we have a top infectious uh, disease specialist saying many Americans, in fact, will be infected by Ebola. Uh, I'll give you the details about that in a minute. You have CDC saying Ebola can be contacted while standing within three feet of an infected person. And in Dallas, there was a report out today that the Ebola patient may have already infected up to 12 Americans. So these are more serious headlines than what the federal government's leading us to believe. What's, what's your take on the ground? Well, obviously, we take this in extremely uh, seriously in, in Texas, and, and uh, you know, we would rather have not had this uh, uh, Ebola virus show up in the United States at all. But if it had to show up somewhere, uh, that Presbyterian hospital where this patient is being in isolation uh, is one of the most technologically advanced, has some of the uh, finest equipment, and more importantly, passionate and compassionate men and women who are there. Uh, serving, and, and I want to make it uh, really clear that this isn't an outbreak. Uh, this is one case, uh, and the people of the state of Texas, the Dallas uh, officials that we're working with, both the mayor and the, uh, the county judge and uh, the Dallas health officials, uh, the CDC has been a very uh, willing participant and partner in this. Of course, the state uh, health director, and, and uh, we've got a great team of people uh, in control of this. This person's in isolation. We have the other, uh, I think it's 18 people uh, in total uh, that are being monitored at this particular point in time. And I think it's very important for the people of the state of, of Texas and the city of Dallas to know that this, uh, uh, this situation, I think, is well in hand, uh, but very important that we uh, uh, continue to keep this individual isolated and those others monitored. And uh, hopefully this will be the end of this uh, event. All right, there is a 